Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my motor vlog setup. I'm going to show you it from both uh, YouTube and TikTok perspective. Um, so I'll be going over the settings, the mounts that I use, you know, the mic, the adapter, everything you can think of. And I'm going to be showing you this because I've got a new helmet. So let's get this unboxed. Let's see what it looks like. So I have gone for a new helmet because the one that I'm wearing at the minute um, has become quite tattered. I tried to spray paint it myself to change the colour to black and the paint started to chip and it's just, it's not looking great. So this is what we've gone for. Exactly the same helmet, been like a, oh my god, I forgot what it looked like with a clear visor on it. <coughs> I think that's got to be changed before we do anything to be honest. So there is quite a lot to take off of the helmet. Um, as I said, it's just become quite tattered. There's bits here that have just, yeah. You see what the old color was and it's just not, yeah. It needs changing. So we're gonna start by taking all this off. Um, I'm gonna take the mount off, the GoPro's coming off. I've got two sets of wiring inside the helmet that's for the um, communication device and the actual mic that I use for my videos. So we'll take that out now and get it all laid out on the table. Right, so everything has been stripped from the helmet and we've got it all laid out on the table. So this is gonna be all the items that we're using for the YouTube and TikTok motor vlog setup. Um, we've also got scissors, some double-sided double tape, adhesive pads, and some glue as well. I am gonna be using the glue to stick my mount on. Um, if you don't wanna do that, just use these adhesive pads. So I'll include a link to all these bits uh, in the description. Um, but basically there's a, a mount here from Chin Mounts the mic adapter for the GoPro, a little extension arm so we can fit the GoPro on, two screws for the GoPro, uh, a purple panda mic, and this is a little adapter so we can have the TikTok set up as well. So yeah, let's get to it. So first thing first is I'm gonna stick the mount on. So this will just fit straight on there. So we're just gonna add a small amount of glue. Just full send. So I've left it a little while. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's stuck on now. Obviously it's gonna be holding the GoPro. The GoPro is not heavy. Um, the last thing you want is your GoPro flying down the road because the mount fell off. So, so now I'm gonna actually set up the GoPro um, so I can work out how it sits um, and then I can actually wire the, the microphone in from there. All right, so I'll quickly show you what settings I use um, on my GoPro. So this is a GoPro Hero 10. So if you click at this bit at the bottom, you get different types of videos. Um, so for TikTok I use standard, so it's a 4K 60 wide, but for YouTube I use the activity one, which is a super view. So it basically just zooms it out a little bit more so you can see more. I definitely recommend you doing that. If you're doing YouTube, you wanna maximize your field of view so you can get as much of the surrounding area and your bike uh, in the video as possible. So make sure you hit that uh, super view. I'm not sure if the other GoPros have it, like the five, six, seven, eight, whatever. Um, but if you have got the, the 10, I definitely recommend using these settings. But that's pretty much it. Other than those two settings, I don't mess around with the GoPro at all. So it's very straightforward, very easy to use. So the next thing you want is this little adjustable mount. So I'm gonna be pushing mine down. So I'm gonna have this bit at the bottom. So then hopefully, it will have full movement. I can move it up and down. This is how it would be set up if you were filming for YouTube, for example. So you'd have it obviously landscape like that, or however you want it. But if you're going for a TikTok view, you use this little adapter that I mentioned earlier. Screw both of them in so they're secure. Attach the GoPro to this side, like that. And screw it in, and boom. You've got your TikTok view. If you're filming a YouTube video, that you just take this adapter off, put it to the side, unscrew the adapter from the mount, and then you can screw that back in so you can film YouTube. Easy as that. 
So the adapter's now plugged in and it's hanging freely. I am gonna have this hanging freely. A lot of other people will attach it to there, say. But because I flip from YouTube to TikTok all the time, I need it running freely so it's it has more maneuverability, basically. So that's attached. Now we need, actually need to put in the mic. So I've taken all the pads out of this, so I'm gonna be putting them back in. So normally what I do, um, and I'll try and show you as best as I possibly can, but I'll normally have the mic in this little gap here. The mic will actually be just here. Um, and then it all gets wired through this cheek pad so the wiring you know, stays clear away from my face. Um, and then it comes back on itself to connect into the bottom of the adapter. The mic feeds underneath into the helmet and all the wiring is inside the cheek pad just there. So I pushed it right down to the bottom so you can still get these clips in. And then the mic just sits on the edge of the pad. This will actually lock the mic in place so it won't actually move. So from the bottom, it's just there. All you have to do now is just lock the pads back in place. Make sure that your mic, see, it's already come loose, so you gotta make sure that it's actually secure in there. So all you have to do is just pull the cheek pad with your finger. Don't take it out, but just loosen it and push it in. Just make sure it's tight in there and it shouldn't move. So that's it, done and dusted. The motor vlog setup is complete. It's pretty straightforward. It obviously depends what helmet you've got, but I guess with most helmets, you can just shove all the wiring in the cheek pad and just mount it on like I have. There are other ways to do it, but this is probably the cleanest looking. Head over to Chin Mounts to get your mount for your helmet. I'm pretty sure they do an extensive range of different helmets, so you'll get a Chin Mount that actually fits your helmet. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you check out all my other videos on my channel as well. And like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.